Paul. The media portrays Union as a bad school. All they emphasize on is the fighting, the vandals, the thugs. But you can't blame them. I guess it does sell newspapers. But tarnishing our school's image at the cost of just trying to make a quick buck doesn't seem right. They show all the negatives, the vandalism, the gang signs, everything unschool related. All they care about is trying to sell newspapers to their community. If the media had their choice, they would never show anything positive about Union. The last time I remember that there was a positive article in the school about Union was when the Ace High School opened, the Arts and Communications High School. Now all you see is slander towards our school. Even when something little happens, they find a way to use quotes out of context and make it seem bad. For instance, the glue in the locks, just a regular prank, but this but the newspapers and TV ads made it out to seem like it was a terrorist attack. Hey guys, where's your passes? What are you doing? Where, where, where's, your, where, where's your class? What class you got right now? Where are you supposed to be right now? What are you doing? Come back here, man. Get your butt back here. You don't walk away from me. If the media had their choice, they would end the, they would end the movie right here. Many people think Union High School is a bad school, even though they've never been there. Well, I'm going to convince you different. A lot of the kids at Union are tired of the crimes committed in their school, and we work hard every day to try to keep it a safe and friendly environment. Some of the artwork you see here is done with patience and hard work. You can't make a picture as beautiful as this easily. It doesn't come overnight. Union students know nothing will be given to them easily. That's why they work hard. The ace is one of the only arts and communication schools in the area. It's also one of the best high schools locally. Some of the trophies you see here are all of Union's accomplishments throughout the years. Even though some of the sports at Union have fallen on hard times in the past couple of years, historically Union was a powerhouse in many aspects. Wrestling, football, baseball, tennis, competitive cheer, any sport there is, Union was good at it at one point in time. The Michigan Merit Exam is the new MEEP, and Union administrators care deeply that all the Union students pass it so that they can get money for college. Everyone here has been working very hard to try to get our students to get that $4,000. Teachers at Union care deeply about the students passing. Mr. Herrefer is, is a prime example. He teaches with so much enthusiasm and energy, he has poise up there. All of his students truly learn Spanish. There's not a single student in his class who isn't energetic and dedicated to learning, which fits because they have such an enthusiastic teacher. Many of the artwork at Union is done to cheer the school up. Look at this, made by Union students and put up in the hallways just to try to live, liven the school up. Union is filled with artwork, banners, posters, everything that makes the school friendly. The War Memorial is one of the most historic at Union. As a freshman, my orientation was set up around here so that they could see how great this country is and how hard our country worked after 9-11. Some of the friendships I've made at Union High School throughout the years will last forever. I've never had better friendships than the people I've met here. Even though there's so much diversity and people don't think that we can overcome throughout all of the diversity, somehow the students still do. White, black, Asian, Mexican, it doesn't matter. Students for some reason care about each other and like to help each other. Union High School isn't as bad as what everybody thinks. It's really a great school.